Wow, what a day. This is my third wine kit today we're making. Okay, um, this one is the Reserve de Chateau European Cabernet Sauvignon. This is made by the same company that makes the Vino Italiano kits. This is the um, a, a step up from the Vino Italiano kits, but even so, I'm going to most probably make this to 25 bottles of wine, um, or to five gallons instead of six. We're going to take a specific gravity reading and see how that reads and we'll make a determination from there. This kit comes with everything pretty much exactly the same as the Vino, Vino Italiano kits. As a matter of fact, I believe the directions are exactly the same. Well, the only thing that I see that's different at the bet night here is the yeast is a yeast that I haven't seen before. Um, so we're going to use this yeast that comes with the wine kit and go for it. The first step we're going to do is take our fermenter, fill it up with some warm water, and stir in the betonite, just like the other kits. I'm going to get things set up so you can see the process. Alright, so first step we got is some hot water in the bucket. And I am going to be pouring the betonite in. Again, just like in my other videos, we want to make sure that we don't just dump it in. We will need to stir it in and add it gradually. So that's what I'm doing here. step would be to add the grape juice concentrate. As you can see, the grape juice concentrate bag is still kind of got some grape juice concentrate in it. We are going to fill the bag up with some water. And by filling it with water, by filling the bag with water, we're going to get the rest of the concentrate out of the bag. We're going to fill this at first to about five gallons, and we're going to see what kind of reading we get off of the five gallons. Alright. So the company that makes these kits, the Vino Italiano and the Reserve de Chateau, is Pack Lab. It's the name of the company, the mother company that makes all of these. It's um, the Vino Italiano style kits. Okay. One of the telltale signs of the Vino Italiano style kits is they come with corks. The other kits do not come with corks. And the directions are the same. Same exact direction. Add a little bit more water. Just do about five gallons. Alright. 
And the next step is going to be to stir this up really, really well. Stir that up. Because you want the concentrate that is thicker to be thoroughly mixed with the water that's thinner. So that we get an accurate reading with the hydrometer. So we're going to do a good stir. Now this particular wine kit I'm making for a friend of mine who was kind enough to help me out with some things. and It's a great way to say thank you to some of your friends when they help you out. Just to say, hey, how about some homemade wine? So I found out what his most favorite wine was. And that's why I'm making this kit. It's just a gift. Gift of love for a friend. What says thank you better than wine? Other than a whole lot of wine. And that's what you get with a wine kit. Especially when you make it for someone. You know, it's even cooler too, is when I talk to my friend, I'll say, hey, you know what? You want to see your wine being made? <laughs> you can see it. I'm going to have some videos so you can see your wine being made. Okay. I'm going to try to get this to stabilize a little bit as far as the currents of the water spinning around inside. Red juice. I'm going to rinse off my hydrometer that's been sitting in sanitizer. Throw in there and see where we see where we're sitting. Now we use the hydrometer to measure the amount of sugar that is in the wine or in the grape juice. And the way it works basically is that when the yeast eats the sugar, it leaves behind alcohol. And roughly what you have is half of whatever the sugar content is will be alcohol. So if we look at the reading here, we at 1.0.9.5. 1.0.95. Okay, so that should give us a pretty nice 12.5% or so alcohol. Because we're going to ferment out way past 1.0. And we should end up with a pretty nice, pretty nice um, Cabernet. Alright, so the next step would be to put in some yeast. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some oak I have and I'm going to add it to this as well. So I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm going to add some of this oak. This one. And I'm going to stir that in. Next step, be taking our packet of yeast. And put that on top. Alright, superb yeast. 
superb yeast. Alright. Alright, so then the next step. We just put our lid on. Take our airlock. cleaned and sanitized and put it in why is this one not working okay there we go airlock is in and we're going to let that sit now and we're going to use that for our ferment fermenter, primary fermenter. We're going to let that sit uh, probably about a week or so, and we're going to be taking our next reading where we're going to be transferring it to secondary fermentation. All right, so there we have it. Three wine kits today. Woo! Okay. Our Cabernet Sauvignon kit from... Reserve the Chateau. First step of the instructions, the primary fermentation. So I hope you enjoyed watching and uh, check back to see how this turns out. Cool. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my video channel here on YouTube and check out my blog at www.cooking-italian-recipes.com for great Italian recipes, tips on organic gardening, winemaking, and uh, herbalism, and all other kind of fun stuff that I'm into. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Tell your friends. Take care.